Well, good morning, Starbound fans, and today we're playing the Factions mod, which is currently in beta, just been released onto the Steam Workshop. Have a bit of a play around with it, see what it's all about, in a, a bit of a one-off video. Uh, the, the, the mod is, as I say, still in full development at the moment, so it's not a complete thing by any means. Um, I'm currently on the Titanic, one of my own creations. Uh, I think we better leave this behind and actually see how to access the mod. Apparently there are two ways. One, talk to Sail. Ah! And two, go to find space stations in the solar system. So, let's just actually see if there's anything in the solar system at the moment. Uh, there's that, which is just a regular electronic station. Eh, let's move on. Let's go to... Let's see what's got a lot of planets. For some reason. <laughs> uh, this, um, this mod adds a hell of a lot of different things. Um, including, like, new missions and things like that. All based around the space stations, I think. But more importantly, it introduces the faction system. Uh, this is all kind of like goes on top of the regular content, so it doesn't replace anything. But it introduces something called the faction um, system, which I have not tried yet, so it should be interesting finding out. But the meat of this is the fact that you, you get to pick your side. Either join the Marines or the Space Pirates. Ooh, nutty. Uh, and this mod is by a guy called uh, Tiferet? Um, possibly how you pronounce it? Probably not. Anyway, let's first of all just see if we've got anything in the system. Oh god, there's lots of things in here. Uh, this is this is just the otherwise just vanilla Starbound. Food distribution system. <laughs> Nothing yet then. Okay, so we'll leave that till later. Let's try talking to Sail. Forging alliances. According to the transmissions I received during the time we have been stranded, the galaxy is plunged into absolute chaos. There is no interplanetary power capable of maintaining order, and the factions are taking control. We should consider looking for the space stations of one of those factions and joining their ranks. Uh, space stations owned by the factions in the galaxy have become places of pilgrimage. Uh, this is causing those factions to require, to require more and more power. Ooh. So I should point out, this is actually m kind of aimed at endgame content, so you need to have a good character. Although you can, you can apparently start doing this um, pretty much after your first missions. At the moment, I think we may actually just need... Well, just going to wait for him to stop talking. Uh, the two factions competing for absolute power are the Marines and the Pedo Space Pirates. Actually, that might be the pre... the pre... the Pedo. <laughs> if they face each other, anyone on the winning side would have had his survival assured. It would be smart to visit some of the space stations. It's really good. He tried to tell me to actually find a space station, isn't it? And let's try. I mean, let's move our ship. Be beware. Once you start dealing with a faction, the opposite faction will not want to deal with you. They may even attack you, depending on the circumstances. Choose well which faction you will join. The decision is irreversible. Ah. So, a couple of systems later, we have arrived at the Kras Crest. And we do actually have a little space station here. The USCM Orbital Station. Predo space pirates are not welcome here. Well, let's pop over and say hello. So it looks like we're going to take the side of the Marines. Well, have you seen those lads? They're a bit big. I don't want to get on the wrong side of them. Right, let's say hello. Oh, do we have to use a mech here? I think we do. I think it's time to reactivate the cheese shark. It's been a long time getting from there to here. Here we go! Cheese shark away! Do -do 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 -do. Oh, bloody hell. Reminder that we have these weapons. And let's say hello to... Hello. Let's eventually say hello. There we go. Alright, I'll call the lift. Are you coming with me, or are you just going to stand there? I think you're going to stand there, aren't you? Right. Oh, ha ha ha! No! Hello. Right, let's do this before I, I am full to my death again. What's this? Oh, just decoration. So this is essentially a space station, so it's going to be fairly... Resource processor! Place the, in the left the items to process. Ooh, I wonder what this is. I wonder if I can actually process some of the other that I've got. No. <laughs> it might be just stuff that you um, stuff from the mod itself. But I may as well experiment. I mean, this is going to be a good mod for experimentation, I think. Should probably do with talking to someone. Hello! You're so furry. Why, thank you. There's a teleporter. Just a regular old teleporter. Oh, here we go. USCM. Oh. Sir. Yes, sir. There we go. Right, so I can beam back there quite easily. I won't have to go on that bloody lift. Oh, hello. 
Oh, hey. That's not helping. Teleportation por um, portal to an asteroid. You lack the range to use the portal. Oh. Is Stranger okay? No, I'm confused. Right, let's see what's over here. Oh, here we go. It's Darth Vader. Hello. <sighs> what the hell? What do we have here? Fresh meat for Pop Tops. Do not be shy. Come up. Let me take a good look at you. <sighs> I'm a heavy breathing robot thingy. <laughs> As, anyway, I'm not going to do that voice again anymore. Um, uh, but first you have to prove what you're worth. Not everyone has the guts to be part of the uh, United Systems Marines. We should start from the beginning, don't you think? You are going to take an admittance test. You are going in a short trip uh, to our training station to prove yourself in the test circuit. If you complete it, I will consider you apt to take care of easy missions. From there, increasing our confidence in you will depend on your merit. Talk to me when ready. Right, let's see what's going on on the training thing. Come on, spider ape. Okay, aspirant. I'd find him. It's time to show that you want to be a real marine. Let's see if you have the guts. Get your top off. And give me 20,000 ape press-ups. Our missions <laughs> consist mainly in infiltration and recovery. And that is what we are going to check here. Your ability to enter and take what you are looking for. Let's see how you get... Okay, traps. Uh, well, I don't need to worry too much about this, I don't think. Distortion sphere. Sonics. Hang on, what's... What's that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's make sure that's um, actually... Oh, I have actually enabled that. Oh, that's good. No, sorry. That's, ignore that. It's just this one. That isn't done. Okay, that's fine. Right. I've forgotten how to use this damn thing. And the rest can stay. So now we've got a spiky ball type thing going on. Ooh, my balls are all spiky. The entity that destroyed Earth could strike other worlds. We must devise some means of fighting back. Out oh, hits. <laughs> Deadly traps, you say? Ah. Luckily, this is actually a checkpoint. Let's watch. Yeah, simple. Maybe I should just dash. Run! Oh, it's a doubling. That's no problem. No problem for the likes of us. What on earth is this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Full sense of security. Fine. Okay. Well, that's me being a terrible timing guy. Right, try that again. See, what I did there is I forget that this isn't fire. Uh, and so the laser, beam the laser beams are actually still deadly for a while, even though I thought they were actually, oh, you know, even when they're like only half, as, half there. Anyway, never mind about that. Straightforward. And then... That has not been bad, novice. Keep it up, but be careful. Things are about to get real hot in here. Hot, hot, ha, ha. How can I be so funny? God damn him. All right, watch this. Oh, <laughs> that was poor. Oh, it's a, it's a thing, that's why. Hang on. Right, okay, that killed you. I, was, I know, obviously it's going to kill me, but I thought there might be some percentage in trying to see what's down there, but I don't know why I'm trying to look for secrets. Do 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 What? You got to admit, this isn't the this isn't so much hot as icy. I think his puns were off. Right. Okay. Yeah. Here. Yeah. It's actually quite slip. Oh, I did it again. I just I, I tried to rush things. Unfortunately, now I'm going to go back and do this bit. Oh, hello, lag. <laughs> that could have been fatal. Oh dear. So long as we're a bit more careful than that, I think we should all be fine. Wait for it. This time, don't be a daft Herbert. Uh, Ooh, bloody hell. Wait for it and then go. None of your nonsense. Right. Just go for it. In fact, <laughs> there. 
It seems that like there is not enough heat here to melt you, Esperant. We'll go with the following. Let's see how your jumping skills are. Beware of the hot soup below. Right. So am I waiting for that to... I don't think I am. I think this is... Yeah, these are just... Okay, that's fine. Oh, now it's... Okay. Oh! No! No! Um, Things could get tricky now. I don't think we can actually get out of this, can we? Nope. Lost more pixels. Oh dear. Only 10% because this is a, this is um, only a a, a a casual character. Right. On. Off. On. Off. On. There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, bloody hell. Good, you have already proven your infiltration capacity, but what happens when our goal is protected by someone well-armed? Are your combat skills up to bollocks, whatever? Um, hang on. To finish this circuit, let's see how you defend yourself against a few waves of enemies. Right, I'm going to get my torch out. This is my post-endgame torch. Burn, mother flipper! Oh, hello. Okay, change your mind. I've only I've got no health things. <laughs> I have no health things. It's official. I probably have. It's just that they're not on health. Not, okay, hang on. Where's my sword gone? Hang on. Ah. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> um. Right. Let's get some heat. I've only got this amount of healing. Actually, hang on. I've got them. Right. Fine. I've put them on the. Oh, God damn it! I put them on the wrong thing now. Right. Put you there, and you there. Right, this time. This should be too difficult. Although they've got the little lunge thing going on, which is a pain in the ass. Missed. Oh, careful. There we go. Oh, bloody hell, that was painful. I have no idea why I put that on my six. It's so far away from my one. And you and all. Just die. <laughs> there we go. Right. Let's put that there instead. Well, this made you about putting health in the top right of anything of a hot bar. Nearly done. There we go. N another wave, presumably. Right. Ooh, careful. Oh, wow! Those shots are hard. Thankfully, we do have... Yes. It does not reset. Oh, what?! This is rather vicious. I just f burn them. Okay, <laughs> that was hopeless. Never mind. Right. Get you. And. Almost got you and all. Ha! Uh oh, hang on. I'm out of stuff. There we go. Last one of these. Oh, that was straightforward. And that's it. Four waves. We have completed our little mission. I'll be damned! What do we have here? It seems that someone has joined, is earned joining the ranks of the mightiest marines in the in the galaxy. I'd find them. Congratulations. Meet me at the station to confirm your membership. There's the there's the second test. How to operate the teleporter. Come on, Darth. It's up to you now to accept or not such a privilege. It depends on you. Will you definitely join the thingy? Yeah, all right. You must take the Marines' oath. Aloud! May the whole station hear you! Remember, this is the final decision. Once you join us, you will be friends with our allies and enemies of our adversaries. So, balls to the pirates. Captain Bird's eye can piss off. I solemnly swear to support and defend the order of the United Systems against all enemies, foreign or domestic, to bear truth, faith and allegiance to the same, to obey orders or the officers appointed over me. Phew. I declare to take this obligation freely, without any mental reservations or purpose of evasion. Get that gun out of my back. 
Um, oh, I'm not supposed to read that bit. And from, on, from now on and forever, the USCM are oh, bugger. What is that, anyway? I've got reputation. Ooh. Right, so let's have a look at that, then. I'm a faction member. I'm in a faction... Okay, that's fine. Where do I actually see that? Oh, hang on. Um, let's start assigning your first tasks. Still get at the top. Um, you'll start at the bottom with those easier and simpler. Hey, such is life. Uh, <laughs> um, the first thing to do will be obtaining goods. Submit to the resource officer to... His okay, whatever. Where have I got to go to? Probably not up here. It's a big dome. Woo! Let's see what's going on. Well, hopefully that's some resource stuff. We'll be back where I saw the resource processor. Shall leave that for now. I'm guessing we have to go over here. Yes! It's standing outside the resource arium. The resource processor. I hope the captain was not very hard on you during the access tests. Ooh. Oh, it's Guile! <laughs> I'm the resource officer called Rene. And I guess the captain has sent you up to update you on how the USEM manages to get his resources. Oh, Rene. Uh, the first thing you will need to understand is how we handle them. Pay much attention to what I will explain next. Okay, here we go. All space stations, regardless of their faction, use the Trade Good Management Protocol, or TICUMP. Uh, this system allows to store in modules goods from recycling, harvesting, or crafting in a simple and safe way until they are needed again. As they are very easy to transport and store, they have become the trade standard in all interstellar travel. All medium-sized stations usually store and trade large quantities of at least one type of TICUMP module. Stand up here. These modules consist of food rations, electronic parts, medical supplies, and weapon parts. So this is actually part of the vanilla game. Uh, they are essential elements for the success of our mission and guarantee our survival. Uh, there are several ways to obtain trade goods. The fastest is packing your own gathered resources in modules with a resource processor. Which is this. Like the one next to me. Which is that, also. <laughs> but you can trade with neutral stations, or even raid enemy stations. Your first mission will be to obtain some of these indispensable resources by your own means. I will need a module of each type to begin with. Come back to me when you have obtained them. I appear to have given, been given something. Before you leave, let me hand you an explanatory... Okay, that's some... Yep. So we've got a four-page thing here. The resource processor is a tool that allows packing a large quantity of material. So it's a, it's a stuff that, you know, it's, it is those resources by the looks of it that you have to put in there. Or is it? Hang on. Food. Oh, food rations. Oh, I see. Weapon parts. Any unusual weapon, one module. Any rare weapon, two modules. That's interesting. So if we put stuff in there... Okay, let's... Because... I think my earlier experimentation was actually along the right path. I could just I could put certain things in there. So if I put salve in, salve in, salve, that doesn't do anything. God damn it. Or that. Huh. Maybe we should read the book more or at all. So as I understand it, it's um, you have to put in a certain amount. So I think water will work because I think I need four hundred units of water, and I've got thousand. So this should work. Ah! I've converted into two trade goods of the food variety. So I've actually got... I've actually um, succeeded in his mission. I wonder if I can actually... Hang on, let's get, take that out. I wonder if these medipacks will actually work. Yep. I, I needed ten of them. Fine. Now, weapons parts. It says, I think it said any rare weapon, whatever, will do the trick. Well, you're not having that. That's actually a legendary weapon. And that's unique. I think unique ones um, give, you, give us more units. That's unfortunately an uncommon weapon. I'm very actually... No. I think it has to be a rare weapon. So it looks like maybe if we go back to the ship. We can always come back here quite easily. See what we've actually got in the... I think there may be a weapons thing somewhere. Furniture. Gubs. Uh, just stuff. Ah, here we go. I'll try a couple of these. There's, actually, there's literally only a couple. But those are definitely... Oh, these are, no, they're also... Le uh, God damn it, they're legendary, aren't they? Not rare. Here we go. Here's some rare weapons. Uh, broadsword to... Uh, I think that's all we need. And for the other thing, what we need is... It is actually food. Oh, no, actually, we don't need food, do we? Because we've already got the food. We actually need... Electronic parts. 
These can only be obtained from catalogue killing enemies. Non-fabricated materials. Liquid Urchius. Um, oil, 200 units. Well, let's see what we've got. We may have stuff in one of these. But we may also have, actually, um, if... Hang on, where is it? This sort of stuff, like phase matter. This might... This might work. Alright, let's have a go with that. Let's go back to... What, oh, what the hell did I call it? I think it, was right, it would be right at the end. There it is. Predo Orbital Station. Now let's see if these work. Let's see if he's happy. Whoop. Uh, rare weapon, that one. Indeed. That works. And finally, we have... Bollocks, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, it was in all the... It was just... Yeah. In here. So let's try Static Cell. Let's stop. Stop. <laughs> there we go. Fine, I think all the other ones, presumably like, what about, what about that? No, that's not enough, there's not enough of that. Phase matter should also work. Yes. So that's all for. Show the goods. You're back! Let me have a look at these modules while they perfectly serve for your needs. Good job! What else do you want me to do? The best idea is to store them in their respective places. You're going to take your goods to our partners in the hold. To facilitate the distribution of resources, each space station stores and transports a single type of Tugump module. In this way, the other stations know where to send their freighters to supply when a specific resource is scarce. Listen to what the resource officer says. Ah, ah, ah. In the lower wing, there is a hole dedicated to store whatever, um, where you can drop by to collaborate. Fine. In fact, the best way to start building your reputation is to help hold officers supplying them with your modules they trade and store. When you get trade good modules, take them to the corresponding station. I wonder if this is the only place I can actually do this then. I suppose it might be because we've got a teleporter here. The merchants of each space station will reward you with special equipment and services as your reputation increases. Don't forget to check what they have prepared for you. It can be very useful in your missions. Now, why do you not approach the lower wing of the station to take them to the trade goods? Greet them from me. Um... And tell them that I will visit them as soon as I can. As far as I'm concerned, we're done. I'll call you if I need you again. Ad finem. Which is Latin for piss off. <laughs> it actually isn't, believe it or not. I reckon I have to go down here then. I forgot this is where I tried to go earlier. But I, <laughs> but I forgot how lifts worked. Oh, this looks like it. Greetings. Have you come to see how your crone is managing the hold? Get close. I suppose you already know what you need to do if you want to help us out. Um, take your trade good modules to the corresponding station. Each station carries a different type of module. Since you're here, take a look at what our merchant is carrying. But do not get distracted. The captains want to see you in the command booth as soon as possible. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Oh, it's a forge. Ooh. So what... Ah, uh, I see. You spend reputation. Also, other stuff. <laughs> Let's see what weapons there are. Infiltration. Level 6. Burns and poisons. Requiring an absolute mountain of stuff. Unstable batteries. Oh yeah, this is going to be a whole thing. Rifles. Um, things. <laughs> Support staff. Oh, okay. So that's all magic stuff. And gadgets. Level 6 Poison Gadget, Healing Gadget, Telekinesis Gadget. I think Armour is the place I'd probably have to start first, but at the moment I've only got very little reputation. I've got 25, apparently. Hmm. So is there anything else I need to do down here? Ah, look. Weapon Sparts. Uh, every time I give them weapons parts, we get a bit of reputation. As, as they explained, admittedly. But <laughs> So I guess if I keep on making more weapons out of... Well, if, if I keep on donating all my rare weapons, although I've, I think I've actually run out of them now, then I will actually get reputation increase and I will be able to afford all this stuff. Interesting. Let's just see what else there is. I mean, how do you get chest shell, then? God, there's so much stuff. 
So I'm back with Darth. Oh, it's you. I've received good reports from the Resources Division. The officers are very happy. Did not expect less. You have learned enough to handle yourself at the most basic level of our operations. From now, you will remain in this tier until you have become familiar with its characteristics. As soon as my reports indicate that you have made enough progress, I will call you again. Piss off, he says. Increase your reputation. Alright, alright. So it looks like... Well, I can't really do much in the way of weaponry now. Because I've already donated all my uh, weaponage. What I can do is possibly... If I, if I gather just loads and loads of water, <laughs> that would actually um, do stuff, weirdly, believe it or not. What I, might, what I could do, is whilst I'm here, is try to get as many of these electronic parts as possible, as possible, because that would... What's this? You have acquired an electric parts TGP module. You should take it to a space station that stores... stores yeah, yeah, whatever. Where did that go? Oh, just in there. Right, electronic parts, 10. So whilst I'm here, I can also... Put all that through. We don't need any of them. I think I'm, that'll use up all the stuff. Unless there's other stuff as well. I don't think so, but... You never know. There might be... No. For some reason, rainbow wood is not the thing. I don't think there's anything else I can get from there. I've had the worst song stuck in my head. God damn it. So now I'd actually have to find an electronic parts station. That could take another five years. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's have a let's have a go. So, new system, and we have ourselves a a, a space pirate station. We're not welcome there, apparently. But I'm intrigued. Apparently, you can, it says that you might be able to raid them. So I'm going to see what happens if, if I go to a, if I go to the pirate station where I. I've basically chosen to be not welcome. So let's have a go. Oh, it's red. Let's have a go. Let's just see what happens. So it, it looks like with this, um, you will actually... Um, if, you, if you've collected absolutely bucket loads of resources before you start this, you will probably have an easier time of it, but I would actually have to need to collect a lot more resources to really progress to actually get more goods and everything, but... Let's have a go. Oh, they're not going to let me in, are they? They're lit it's literally going to be impossible for me to get in, so... I don't actually see any way of actually doing it. Oh, oh. Hello. <laughs> Mate. Oh, let me in. Oh! Ah, oh, oh, hello. Well. You've made a mistake there, didn't you? Ha 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 Get got. Run. Run for it. Ah. Oh, it's different. This the space station's different. Ow! <laughs> Alright, maybe I'm not strong enough to do that. I will actually have to get a load of the new armour in the mod, I think. Uh, there seems to be a lot in this mod, so it's some, well worth checking out some more of this at some point. Um, but for now, we'll stop here. Um, we'll return to Starbound soon, sooner rather than later, as, uh, as I always say at the end of a, one of these videos, and all that. So do subscribe if you're not already to the channel. Um, check out my Discord if you want to talk about Starbound and other indie games. And check me out on Patreon if you want to support the channel from like $1 a month or more. And get rewards and that. It's, it's worth it, honest. <laughs> uh, all the links are in the description. And I'll see you next time.